Okay, so uh, for the first part of exam three, we're going to be basically showing um, that these functions uh, in part one uh, in the form e to the negative alpha k squared t times e to the uh, i k x are solutions to this unaxial time dependent heat diffusion equation. And we're going to say that it has no heat generation. And basically our problem, just underlined in it real quick, is we're going to have a temperature profile with the uni uniform bar. It's going to be 50 meters in length, and I have a thermal diffusivity of one uh, meter squared per second. And it's going to be—we're uh, basically going to be simulated uh, computationally via finite difference. Um, and we're going to say that it has a spa spatial step size of one meter. So we're going to go over to our notes here. So this is a, will be our temperature profile right here, uh, up to 50, and we're going to have uh, one meter slices. And we're going to say that our n, when we end up writing out our um, finite differencing equation in uh, terms of t and uh, n and j, we're going to have n is going to be our time increment and t is going to be our basically our position well within this temperature profile, our position of slices. So this right here, this will be our um, thermal diffusivity um, equation. And we're going to assume no heat generation, so basically our q dot is going to be equal to zero. And we're, this will be uh, our equation, assuming that we don't have heat generation. Um, what we want to do is say that these solutions are equal um, with all values to k, or will be equal to this differential equation. So we have our solution t, and we can substitute in these two expressions, e to the i k x, e to the negative alpha k squared t. And we can substitute T in on this left side and say we can take the derivative of temperature with respect to time, which is what this left side is saying. So if we take the derivative with respect to time to the, uh, of this, uh, these two functions, we're going to have um, negative alpha K squared E to the negative alpha K T times e to the i k x and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side substitute the uh, the solution to that side so we're going to have alpha and then uh, we're going to take the derivative twice with respect to x in this case um, because we have the second uh, the second derivative on this side so then we'll have on this side we're going to have k squared because when you um, do the second, when you do the uh, two derivatives, we're going to have k, it's going to come down once, and then when you do the derivative again, k will come down again, so k squared. Same thing with i, so then times i squared, and then e to the i kx, and then we'll have e to the negative alpha kt. Okay, so now we can see uh, if we keep going, so we're just going to bring this one down, and then if we keep going on this right side, we can say we can look, say look, so we have i uh, squared right here. And we know i, um, the uh, imaginary number, is the square root of negative one, so we can say that i squared is negative one. So that leaves us with negative one, we put negative one in here, so that gives us negative one, can't erase that, negative one alpha k squared e to the i kx times e to the negative alpha kt. And you can see that expression is the same on both sides. And um, therefore, since the expression is the same on both sides, we can say that um, these functions right here will be solutions to our uh, heat generation equation, or heat diffusion equation, uh, assuming no heat generation, um, for all values of k. So we can say that that is a solution to our differential equation.